Maybe by now you've already figured out that if you want to hit those high notes, you have to work on your head voice. Ah, this part of your voice to help you get ah, all the way up to those crazy high notes. So in today's exercise, I'm going to show you how you can access your head voice and gain more control over your head voice as well. Hey singers, it's Lara from Vox Tape Studios, an online studio where we help singers make singing feel effortless so that they can fully express themselves, do whatever it is they want to do with their voice, and actually make singing feel good too. The head voice, it's this softer, lighter, usually also a little bit brighter part of your voice. To get into your head voice, just imitate an owl. Or pretend like you're speaking to a kid. Oh my god, aren't you just so cute? Look at you! Right? That is your head voice right up there. And what I did just now, that is your head voice right up there. That's also my head voice, right? So fair chances are that you are already accessing your head voice in your everyday life, maybe not every single day, but you know, you're doing it even though you might not be aware that that's what you're doing. That's your head voice. This up here is your head voice. Pretend like you're Mickey Mouse. Hello, how are you, right? That's head voice. Ah. That part of your voice is your head voice. And if we wanna reach those like, yeah, those kinds of notes we need to use and develop and strengthen the head voice and that's what today's exercise is for now we're not gonna go like yeah crazy today okay we're gonna start on like the first level okay we're not gonna go bananas we're gonna start at a softer head voice uh, level so that we can gain more control over it before we add all the power okay so today is get to know your head voice gain more control over your head voice. And then the next step after that would be adding power, but that's for another day, okay? So let's look at how the exercise goes. It was inspired by the song Selfish by Madison Beer. Let's have a look. Now this is nice and soft, right? I'm not going ooh, cause then I'm not in my head voice. To help you get into it, you can do a sigh first, like I just did. <sighs> We're starting on ooh to help you get into the head voice. It's also easier to stay in head voice. And then when we're opening up to ah, ah, or ooh, Keep it soft, okay? We don't have to go ah down into a chest voice, even though range-wise we could. Ah, keep it nice and soft and easy, light, okay? Always knew that you were too selfish. Now here, were too selfish. I added that a little bit of like agility in here to make you keep it light. If we go, we're too selfish, it's like, oh, you can't do that. We're too selfish. Your head voice is your flexible register, which makes things like agility, riffing, vibrato, all that stuff easier, right? So, we're too selfish. Keep it nice and light. This exercise is gonna go up in pitch, meaning you're gonna have to be in head voice up there. Down here, we probably could do a little little chest voice if we wanted to, but try and stay in head voice as much as possible. We're gonna come back down eventually, okay? And there, really stay in head voice, even in the lower notes. We wanna drag that head voice down. It's gonna help you with mixing and eliminating that crack that you might be experiencing in your voice as well. So working on head voice has a ton of benefits. But that's the exercise. Try and make it as light and as head voicey as possible. Now, if you fall under the songbird persona, this exercise might actually be too easy for you. So if you're going through this exercise and you're like, that was so easy, I felt like that did absolutely nothing. It's probably because 
singing in head voice is your strength. <laughs> okay, so this is really more for powerhouse singers, singers who are adding too much power into their singing and struggling with head voice. Now, if you're like, I don't know which one I am, what are you talking about, powerhouse and songbird, what does any of this mean and which one am I, then check out my vocal persona quiz. It's going to tell you which persona you fall under, what tendencies you have as a singer, and it's going to give you a personalized training and exercise track all for free so that you can practice the right exercises for your voice. That is so important. Otherwise, you keep doing exercises and you don't see any improvements because it's not for you. So take my vocal persona quiz to make sure that this is actually the right exercise for you to practice and then go and actually like do the exercise together with me, which is what we're going to do right now. Let's go. It should feel light. It should feel comforting, easy, light, effortless, right? And not, oh my God, that was so heavy. I feel like I just did a bunch of heavy lifting, right? No, nice and easy and light. That's what today's exercise was for, to gain control over your head voice, navigate it up there in these higher notes, not make it sound super powerful. So let me know in the comments below how this exercise went for you. If you're like, oh my God, this was so difficult. I need some extra help. Then please book a session with me. I'd love to do a one-on-one -on -one private session with you over Zoom so that we can see, all right, what's going on? What do we need to do so that you can see improvements quickly in your voice? Come up with a really great plan. That's important. We need to have a plan to get you to your goals. Otherwise, we're just grabbing things randomly out of thin air and hope and pray that it works. Okay, let's come up with a really great plan. You can book a session with me using the link in the description below this video. But for now, thank you so much for practicing with me. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this exercise. And don't forget to check out all these other exercises right here as well. I've got a ton of these 
a pop zone exercises is what I call them. They're so much fun and help you bridge the gap between exercising your voice and singing songs. So I will see you in one of these exercises.